So it's finally out. Total War Three Kingdoms. This is going to be interesting for me, because it's a, a period of history I know very little about. All of most of the other Total Wars, I had some background in it from school, but here, uh, my study of China started with the fall of the Ming and the, and the Qing Dynasty in the 17th century. So I'm going to absolutely butcher these names, I'm sure. <laughs> Uh, I looked through these options, and uh, I noticed, like, uh, it falls to me to reunite this China. fellow. How do you spell his name? Tao Tao. Tao Tao. Sure, why not? Why is it a C? No one rise. cares. He has seen so this guy power hates Dong Zhuo. And this guy Be hates Dong Zhuo. Honor your allegiances. This guy hates Dong Zhuo. This guy hates Dong Zhuo. Do not Zhou? swerve. And oh, whatever. Stay your this guy hates Dong until Zhou. fully fall. <laughs> In fact, resist so the these chaos guys. of change. And these guys China hate Tong Zhuo too. But not this guy. I, I looked through, through, and this conquest. guy actually thinks Dong Zhuo is a cool Even dude. So I'm gonna play him. Storm of chaos rolls and thunders over Lo Yang. Ma I'll be the, does not let the Darth Vader to Dong Zhuo's Palpatine. Mind. I'm not sure it quite works like that, but uh, he seems pretty neat anyway. Cavalry faction, um, right on the uh, the northwest border of China. I like that they've brought back the, uh, the supplies. It looks like I haven't actually started a campaign up yet, but uh, supplies worked pretty cool in uh, or worked pretty well, I should say, in Thrones of Britannia. So I'm glad that's back. I, uh... I'm gonna go with Records mode. Because I've, I've played enough Total War Hammer. <laughs> Give me some historical Total War. Um, let's see here. Campaign difficulty. Legendary. Yeah, why not? Let's do it. What's the worst that could happen? Not a coward. Advisor help. I'll figure it out. <laughs> I'm sure it'll be fine. Apparently I get characters? White Horse General. Pang De is an unrelenting force whose avowed enemies know they must face him sooner or later. Sure, Complexion like jade and eyes like shooting stars. My. Alright, let's get this started. Embers rise, stark against the night. The tyrant Dong Zhuo wields the flames of destruction. Luo Yang burns. Chaos ignites as the power of the Unix is crushed. In the pyre, the hand falters. Yet the chaos is nothing compared to loyalty. Ma Tung prepares, knowing he will follow the Emperor to whatever end. The Han Dynasty must be protected. China is in turmoil. The great empire of the Han, stretching back ages beyond counting, is being devoured by corruption. The yellow turbans, thousands strong began raising their banners in rebellion and seizing commanderies across the realm in response generals loyal to the emperor rose up and put down the rebellion yet despite the victory the chaos only grew with the corruption at the very heart of the empire the loyal general stormed the Imperial Palace and killed the Ten Eunuchs, the source of China's ills. In the madness, the warlord Dong Zhuo seized the Emperor. With the great warrior Lu Bu at his side, none dared oppose him. In response to Dong Zhuo's brazen display, treason some call it, a coalition of warlords rose up, led by the charismatic Yuran Shao, to save the Han. Faced with united opposition, Dong Zhuo retreated west to his stronghold of Chang'an, 
raising the old capital Luo Yang to the ground as he fled. It is now the year 190 CE, and the coalition has all but collapsed. Warlords on all sides have seen opportunities to build their own fortunes from the chaos. Yellow turban remnants still stalk the lands, seeking the age of the yellow sky, whilst soldiers of fortune feel the change of fate on the wind and strike out on their own. The scales shift, and China hangs in the balance. Excellent. I don't know if I'm ever going to get these pronunciations, but hold on. Dong Jua? Like J-W-A-W? Jua? Uh, we'll go with that. Alright, let's go protect the West. The capital burns, Lord Ma Tung. The noblemen fight for the throne, but they ignore their empire. Their responsibility. Dong Zhuo has taken the Emperor West to Chang'an. This is wise. Dong Zhuo has removed him from the chaos. Now the Emperor can rule without those insidious eunuchs. Yet there is still civil unrest. The Yellow Turban insurrections persist. Ever am I called to destroy China's enemies. Very well. Han Sui may aid you, my lord. He has been a staunch friend. He has. Yet friends rise and fall. The Empire must not. Long have you been the sword that holds back enemies without. Now you must turn your blade on the enemies within. I feel like... Everyone seems to be being a bit unfair to Tong Chua here. <laughs> the poor fellow. Even the intro is just ragging on the guy. But uh, he's my good friend, and I'm going to uphold his rule. Okay. Tong Chua's growing desperation. Yeah, it's propaganda. What do you mean I must be ready to move against him? Get out of here, advisor. He's my good buddy. All right, let's see. China's in chaos. Above all your loyalties to the Emperor, kill this dude. I get extra supplies, and I get morale. Excellent. It's not leadership anymore, it's back to morale. First concern should be to remove the yellow turban blight. Damn peasants. Alright, what do we got here? Uh, missions? Okay. Pins. I like commanderies. Okay. Characters. I got Act quickly. my tongue. Some other dude. Those uh, that serve your cause gain experience here, over time. Yes, I know my characters gain experience. Thank you, advisor. Who's this dude? He's got. Oh, you get armor and mounts in this game. Cool, cool. Instinct, authority, cunning, resolve, expertise. All right, let's see here. Construction cost, melee evasion, bodyguard size, population growth, ammunition, supplies. Melee damage, recruitment cost, satisfaction. What is satisfaction? I should probably figure this out. He respects patience and dislikes impulsiveness. Okay, interesting. Respects discipline, disregards flexibility. What a jerk. The ashes of summer fall away. Focuses on duty. Cool, whatever that means. Um, and I have a fellow at court. Okay. So if he's a general, does that mean I have another army somewhere? Besides this one? Doesn't look like it. Well, the Great Wall. Doesn't look like it's doing a very good job, but alright. Uh, Okie doke. I can build stuff here. Salt traders under my allies' control. Okay. I have this silk trader though. What can I do with that? I see. I can upgrade it to a post. How much gold will that take? How much gold do I have? Two thousand. Not is much. Refreshing. Hmm. Uh, what else have I got here? Armies. Just the one. Okay. Oh, I see. The other generals in that army. Okay. Okay. I see. 
interesting. So, hmm, how does that work? Here's stances. Foraging, ambush, march. Yeah, it's all pretty normal, just like earlier Total Wars. Um, construction available. Contested commanderies, I see. So commandery is like a province then, right? Looks like Hans Sui has... He starts with three, and I only get two? Jeez. Brutal. All I have is a silk trader and horse pastures. I don't have any cities. Ouch. Okay, who's this guy? Okay, Dong Zhua has this place. Got it. I need to blow this up and take this town. Yes? Yeah, that makes sense. Okie dokie. Uh, known factions? Oh, I see. What does this mean? Oh, the strength compared to me. Dong Zhua is superior. Similar to that dude. I'm stronger than the Han Empire, apparently. Interesting. Hmm. And then what have I got up here? Treasury. Faction Council. Locked. Espionage. You can do this by advancing your faction rank. What's a faction rank? Okay. Uh, records. Oh, I see. Just kind of a history of my faction. Got it, got it. Uh, reform. So this is the tech tree that we saw in the trailers. Cool. I love this tree. Like, literally a tech tree. What do we got here? Plus one available trade agreements. And some buildings. Can't do that. Improved growth. Growth in every other Total Gore game was pretty important, so I'm probably going to consider that one. Uh, permission to forage. Extra supplies. Yeah, okay. Regional commissioners. Increased military capabilities. Oh, I like that. Minus two mustering turn. Oh, that seems pretty good. Uh, extra income. Uh-huh. Uh-huh, uh-huh. What's this one? Plus ten income from commerce. Well, that doesn't sound very good for me. <laughs> All right. Well, then. What is satisfaction? Is it like public order? I don't know. Alright, I want growth. Give me that. So if I click on this, is it going to tell me what satisfaction is? Public order minus four. No, that's... Public order is clearly different from satisfaction. If I look at my dude, man. He's a second marquee? No, he's a noble. He's not a second marquee yet. Okay. Interesting. I can get three armies? Oh, that makes sense. That's your army cap. Got it, got it. I'm allied with Han Sui, right? Right, makes sense. He's a bit more smiley in this one, eh? <laughs> uh, right. I get some cool cavalry stuff, awesome. Alright. Hmm. Well. I don't want this pen. Go away. Get these pins out of here. Oh, for F's sake. Let desire shape and guide passion. Okay. Where is I am at your disposal, my lord. Okay. This is satisfaction for my characters. Plus, it's like loyalty, I guess is the what it is. That makes sense. I have to pay my characters a salary? I guess that makes sense, eh? He's only a registrar, poor guy. He's 22. He likes his promotion. He's friends with my faction leader. His general discontentment. Interesting. What about He's my fellow conquest. himself? A little bit of instinct. Oh, I see. It, it's a, it's actually a ton of instinct. 136 out of 200. He's audacious and driven. Has fervor in battle and statecraft. Excellent. He's not very cunning, though. He's kind of dumb. Excellent. His resolve's kind of eh. His expertise is kind of eh. See those proud mountains. And his authority is okay. Okay, okay. Well, um, let's see. Looks like there's no mercenaries in this game. Then we've got my court. A warlord must be skilled in politics if their faction is to thrive. Maintain stability amongst your generals yes. and court nobles. 
by keeping them satisfied or banishing Adoption, dissensions marriage, that threaten gifts, your positions rule. can help keep your characters satisfied. All right. So let's see. I've got this dude who's doing like nothing. He's a clerk. This guy's in my army. This is my faction heir. No desire for higher office until character rank 10. Character defection controller, civil war. Okay. I see. There's disharmony with this guy? Okay. Interesting. Why is that? Interesting. I guess he has a different opinion. <laughs> Too bad. Um, all right. Matang respects discipline, and Hualanli <laughs> resents discipline. Matang disregards kindness, and Hualanli values kindness. Oh well. Interesting. <laughs> hmm. Okay. And then my diplomacy screen. What do I have? To begin here? with, your diplomatic dealings with other warlords will be limited. Uh huh. But as you grow in power, you will be taken more seriously. Makes sense. And more options will become open to you. Alright. Let's see. I'm good buddies with Dong Zhua. Excellent. Hello, my we fat feel friend. Honored. Uh you want a trade agreement? Yeah, Your you do. terms are fair. No argument there. Uh, what else we got here? The honor is mine. Quite so. Uh, don't really want to trade territory. Don't really want to become his vassal. How about military access? It will do. Excellent. He's a cruel tyrant, but my character's cruel too, as I recall. So. So excellent, we're we're good buddies. Um, cool. Welcome, friend. Seems like they've actually done a significant amount of reworking to the um, d diplomacy system. That's kind of cool. Aid Dong Shuo in one of their wars. Call him to arms. Call your vassals to arms. Request allied support. Oh, that's a good one. I'm glad they brought that in. I hope that's in Total War Warhammer Three. That's excellent. What's this one? Issue ultimatum. Threaten this faction should they not accept your deal. Uh, oh, I see, I see. He doesn't want an alliance. Oh, and <laughs> my buddy doesn't want an alliance with him either. Oh, Alright. You say so. Alright, back to work. I suppose before I do anything, I need to get rid of this rebel army. What's with all these pins? What do I care about this garbage for? Caution! Douse is the heart's desire! Uh, sure it does. Two arms! Two arms! We have engaged the enemy in battle. Now it is up to you okay. to command your forces and destroy our foes. Delegate is the new auto resolve, I imagine. What do they have? Two units of yellow turban wars. What are all these stats? Interesting. And this dude. Thinking face. Uh, he's a fortune teller. Well, good luck with that. I see. I have harmony with my general. I assume that's a good thing. Apparently, I don't even know what that does. But we outnumber them two to one. I'm thinking we should probably win this. All right. Let's get started. You can examine the different aspects of a commandery. Yes, yes. All right. Battle of Wudu. I'm sure I butchered that name. It's a town. What more do you want to know? Got archers, spearmen, and some cavalry, looks like. Cool. Okie dokie. Alright. Looks like a total war game to me. There's the. Uh, okay, let's have a look at these stats. This is interesting. How they reworked the game this time. Stand ready! This is a lot of stats. They don't. Exactly, uh. It's a lot of description, but I was kind of hoping for. Yeah, let's look at these stats. Alright, so, Spearman. 
or halberd infantry, I should say. What do they have here? Charge reflection versus mounted. Hmm, interesting. I'm glad they brought that in. That's actually really good. So anyway, health, apparently lots. Uh, morale, yeah, kind of eh. Melee charge bonus. Well, their spear infantry not going to be that big. Attack rate. Well, they actually put attack rate in. That's nice of them. Uh, armor piercing versus base. 25-25. Okay. Interesting. So they're fairly armor piercing then. Evasion. Absolutely F all. I guess they're just militia. Melee evasion. Shield. Oh, I see. Armor. Uh-huh. 20%. Armor shield. Ranged block chance. Okay. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. This is speed. Cool. At the ready. All right then. So I have like two cavalry bodyguards here. Yes. Yeah. And on top of that, I have two cavalry. Forty. I see the general's bodyguard is quite large. Stand ready. So on my cavalry, I've got a charge bonus three hundred and twenty-two. That's more like an Attila total war number. Jeez. Okay. Okay. Excellent. Well, let's get to work. Archers, prepare! Archers in the front. Stay ready! The time has come! Lock formation. Make ready! The time has come! At the ready! Prepare! I'm not sure how I feel about how enormous the general's portraits are at the bottom here, but whatever. Stand ready! To attention! Prepare! Oh, no, I don't want skirmish on. No. Let's do the thing, eh? I've heard that fatigue is actually a thing again now, so I actually might want to walk my peoples. Let's see what we can do here. So they have one cavalry bodyguard, right? Yeah. Not a very good one. <laughs> and yellow turban warriors. Light sword infantry. Actually, they have a decent charge bonus, don't they? Ready! Interesting. Our men have been discovered. No shit. Please. Here, shoot that. GE warriors, attend! Horses, move out quickly! I'll go! Let's shoot these nerds. Let's see. Oh, I see. That's full health. The health is going down over time. Got it, got it. Seems to be going well, theoretically. Cavalry, to attention. Cavalry, double time. Move, move. Unleash fury. Run. Oh, that way. Let's take their general out. Should cripple their morale, theoretically. I assume my militia aren't gonna win this fight. So I need to be careful here. Hit them in the rear. Hit their general from both sides. That should be F on. Let's use uh, crude language. Oh. Cowards! Englishmen! Sorry, that was rude. Oh, well, I win! I win. Uh, so let's see how replenishment works here, because I lost like 60 soldiers, right? Yeah. Cool. I like all these banners. They're everywhere. Uh, I suppose I should be wiping them out. Take them all prisoner. I assume prisoners are back. It's a historical total war again, right? So, theoretically. Here, go kill these jerks. Give me, bring me my prize. You can do a rematch in single player on Legendary? What? What? I don't know how I feel about this button being here. I'm gonna pretend it doesn't exist. Rematch, indeed. <laughs> Ridiculous. Assignments provide bonuses to certain aspects of your settlements and faction. They're most useful to maximize a commander's efficiency. Wonderful. 
bomb right now. Whoa! Rock that guy shit. And the fate of uh, those who have captured okay, in battle must be decided. You may bolster your ranks with the remaining uh -huh. enemy soldiers, or kill them to Ransom, prevent them returning to fight supplies, you again. Recruit. All right, let's see. What do I want to do here? Plus eight supplies, plus one hundred income, plus two hundred punishment. I probably want the ransom. To be told. Um, and you guys remember? In the original medieval and Shogun as well, the original medieval one Total War, when you ransomed captives, they would actually be ransomed, and the other side would get them back. I imagine that's not the case here, but uh, yeah, let's ransom these fellows. I'm sure I'll be needing the gold since my, uh, my fire economy is probably not the best. All right, the border warrior solidifies his control. Taste of victory. Cool. Okay, dog. You want me to capture a thing? Support of the people. I like that. What's this faction support? Oh. I guess that's like religion, I assume? Yes. Well, of course I won. What did you expect? I outnumbered no them two to one. No matter how devoted that bad. your soldiers are, rest, rest is needed is between needed. marches. Uh -huh. Try to manage your army's movements so they can rest in safe locations. Kidoke. Makes sense. Uh, did I level Trust up? Instinct. I did. Peace through conquest. Peace through conquest. Trust your instincts. Okay, Peppy Hair. Uh, what can I do here? Uh, how do I level this guy up? Truth Arrow man? Is an unquenchable flame. Nope. Spent season in own domain. This force is being resupplied. Okay, interesting. Uh, general skill points available. Can I level them up here? Please? No, yes. What is passers by? Oh, well, whatever. I'm sure I'll figure it out later. Uh, okay, interesting. Cruel, loyal, and careless. What a guy. I like him. He has cool armor. Uh,. The perfect fit, tailored for this warrior of class and distinction. Family spear. We just rocked those rebels with. Oh, I see. Your horse affects your mass? That's funny. More than adequate for average journeys. Excellent. Okay, what can I do? Uh, flexibility. Meh. Plus five replenishment, minus 25 redeployment cost. Oh, I see. Is there a cost to like changing your army you're leading? Celebrate! Our victory was just. Passion, vanguard. So what do I already have here? I'm a bit confused by this tree, but I'm sure I'll figure it out though. Skills, relations. <laughs> cool. Can one kill with kindness? I think not. Excellent. Uh, Clarity. This is locked. So I just have to pick any of these, I guess? Zeal. Chop things better. Extra morale when attacking. Fury. Endurance. Minus 50% attrition. Okay, okay, okay. But I have more supplies come my factions, so that's probably not as good. Interesting. Uh, He's not administering a commander. He's going to be a commander, so that's probably not very useful. Uh, dignity. Nothing baffles evil like calm, composure, and propriety. Huh. I kind of like this. Passion. Because I'm probably going to be putting a lot of shock cavalry in his retinue, right? You'd think that would make a lot of sense. Um, but I like that too. My instinct's already pretty good. Should I be maybe? There's too many choices here. Uh, I think Vanguardy already has, I assume. Or do I already have this? No, I do already have. Oh, I see. These ones I already have. Got it. Okay, okay, okay. Makes sense. Well, hmm. 
ability, endurance, flexibility. Hmm. What does authority get me? Unit morale, satisfaction. Gotcha. Well, dignity is probably useful. Hmm. Interesting. Well, hell with it. Got to pick something. Um. I like scare and I like fatigue resistance, so let's endure, I guess. <laughs> Why not? Uh, apply. Okay, moving on. What can we do? I need to go take this place. Which apparently I have. With our superior forces, they expect a Pyrrhic victory. However, their supplies deplete in one turn. Okay. So it would probably make sense just to starve them out, eh? Considering otherwise, I'll probably lose a lot of boys. Alternatively, just kind of hang out and be cool. Alright, let's start. We'll see what they do next turn, if they attack me or not. Who's this guy? Impossible. Wait, so is, a, is this general the same faction? I must refuse. Uh, is this my enemy? Maybe he is. This will be short. Uh, negotiating. Uh, hmm. Hold on. Do I need to flee here? Am I in a lot of trouble? <laughs> uh, let's see. This is. I cannot. This is yellow turban. I think I do need to flee. Attack! Don't I? Because otherwise. No. This army just comes and attacks me. I'm kind of effed, aren't I? I might be effed anyway, actually. I mean, this might be a premature end to my campaign. Uh, interesting. In the name of China! Hmm. Not possible. This is weird. It doesn't show as many enemies. Is this this guy? Shang Li. Kong Du. Oh no, he's down here. Am I actually at war with this guy or not? Spread in all directions. Hmm. I guess I'll no. find out. <laughs> no big loss if I lose the campaign on turn two, hey? Uh, alright. Should I be spending my money on here? Building upgrades available. Tribal horse breeders. Upgrade for cavalry units. Faction Y. That sounds kind of nice. Uh, improves my garrison. That's pretty cool, I suppose. Silk road trade. I get extra income from silk, right? So this is actually really good for me. All right, let's do that, and then we will uh, see what happens. End my turn. What's this guy? Oh, he just left. Okay, <laughs> my the campaign's not over. If I were him, I would have attacked me. But what are you gonna do? <laughs> <laughs> your faction not only consists of settlements and armies, uh -huh. but your policies, reforms, and family affairs. All contribute hmm. to your rule and deserve consideration. Very well. Alright, what do you want me to do here? Oh, you want me to upgrade this? I mean, yeah, sure, why not? What else am I going to do with my money? Let fury explode. Your they armies are composed of generals and their strike with no two battles are the same. Look, shut up. <laughs> um, okay. Yeah, so if they start taking attrition next turn, we should be in a much better position if we wait. Stoke passions and strike! Now what are my supplies like? Because this was a thing in uh that your army is well stocked with supplies. Before they embark on I was long just going to say that, advisor. Enemy territory. If they run... Yes, yes, yes. Alright, supplies are good. Positive supply factors, faction. Negative, hostile territory. I see. Well, not running out of supplies is pretty useful, as it turns out. All that stuff is upgrading. I get a reform in two turns. Uh, okay. 
Do I have a trade agreement with my other friend? Let's have a look. Um, what's his name? Yeah, this guy. Let's go see. Glad it. to see you. Uh, I don't have a free trade route. Okay, I got the one with Dong Shua. Makes sense. It's interestingly limited uh, trade routes again. I guess that's every historical Total War, so that makes sense. I have my one out of one. Gotcha, gotcha. Well, Dong Shua seems like the more profitable partner anyway, so we'll go with that. Uh, Alright, let's see how much attrition they take Strike here. With fury. Striking with fury. Alright, that's their garrison here. Well, let's see what happens. I see there's not really factions so much as uh, character names. Okay, so they want to fight. Uh, People's Warband, Peasant Warriors, some dude, and some archers. Okay, okay, okay. What's the worst that could happen? Let's do it! Our cause is just! Let us fight for it! Yeah. Your strength will lead us to victory, friend. Thanks, Pangde. Appreciate your confidence you're showing no in me. More honeyed words. To the fight. Look, I'm loading in as fast as I can, my tongue. That's kind of fun. They talk before the battle on the load screen. Kidok. Deployment phase. How are we going to work with this? Lock them in formation. Kind of do the same thing we were doing last time. See so if we can hit them from both sides. Let's so begin. They're attacking, so they should be coming at us, theoretically. Come. Oops. Whoa. Just stop. Back to the battle. Uh, regular speed, please. Anything here I should be shooting first? Probably not the peasant warriors here. The general might be a good idea. Let's go. really shouldn't last that long against the cavalry unless I get shot up too much here. You guys are running, right? You're kind of moving a bit slow for my liking. That's fine. Yeah, these guys are aft. Theoretically. Let's see. Let's thread the needle here. Get through, and then we'll hit them in the rear. The rear charge of the cavalry is usually pretty devastating in any historical total war. Although my cavalry gonna have to get out of here. Yeah, they got wrecked. Holy crap. Nasty. Get out of there, get out of there, get out of there. Okay, get over here and help us out. Cavalry are devastating. Damn. I love your confidence, bud. Yeah, hit this garbage in the flank and rear. That's satisfying. Yeah, maybe go around this way and hit them in the rear this way. 
But the men need ammunition for it, don't be a baby. Yes, relenting is generally an inferior plan. Get a lot of prisoners this way too, hey? New toys. Delightful. Uh, we should probably not let them get away. Is that their little flag still standing there? <laughs> their poor flag. I like how this one's still standing up. Excellent. Uh, should be all, huh? Wasn't too bad. Casualties on the um, militia and some cavalry, but it happens. No, I don't want to rematch. Thank you, game. So I'm going to accidentally hit that someday and be so mad. Alright. Very good then. This combat seems satisfying. It feels like Attila. A lot like Attila Total War. And just how devastating the cavalry is. But also how rapidly you can get wrecked by archers. Heaven rewarded our passion. Yeah. That's what Heaven did. Ooh, look at all this ransom I can do. Free the prisoners! There okay. are many intricacies to ruling. And a wise leader seeks counsel rather than allow pride to lead them into ignorance. Huh. If any aspect of your kingdom okay. eludes you, 21,000 population. It's interesting they're giving specific numbers for population now. That's kind of cool. Uh, faction support here, none. Fancy that. Public order, not much. <laughs> uh, let's see. Occupying will give me extra faction support, extra supply, a little bit of income. I won't lose as much population. Yeah. It seems fairly clear that Occupy is the option I want. It's interesting, Occupy doesn't reduce the settlement level anymore. That's new. I'm not sure Occupy needed any more incentives, but I guess we'll see how it goes, huh? Alright. Support from the people. Oh, nice. Uh, Matang looks to domestic issues to strengthen his rule. My territory is rich in silk, apparently. Yes, yes. Not like I had many options. I mean... Uh, yes, we did do that. Thanks, game. My options were like... Improve your Silk Road trading post, or improve your Silk Road trading post. Um, I assume a town has more options. Looks like it. Yeah, okay. So I got public workshops. I have no knowledge of this building and cannot <laughs> develop it. I see. Oh, I see. This is the town, eh? So I have a few construction plots in which I can build absolutely nothing because I'm too dumb. Good to know. <laughs> Guess I should get to work on those reforms, eh? Um, hmm. Interesting. Yeah, it doesn't look like I can do anything here. Well, I've got a town, and I can't do much with it. Um, hmm. Interesting. There's no public order downfall from, like, my occupation? Guess not. Uh, my supplies are probably fine, because I have a laughter. million of them. Uh, and I leveled up. Once Excellent. again, I feel the warmth of home. Yes, I want to scare. Excellent. I'm scary now. Uh, cool. Well. Someone else level up? Oh, do I have another level? Special rare weapons, armor, and horses can be taken from defeated enemies. Thank you, advisor. Okay, so what do I have? A follower here? An adept? Enable shield wall? Sure. I don't think I have any shield in infantry, but why not? What else we got here? Clay dog. Bow. Feather fan. Hmm. Interesting. Uh, maybe I'll take that. Just me. I'm, apparently I get smarter because I'm using a bow. Why not, right? 
Uh, can I apply my level ups? No, yes. Oh, there it goes. Applied. The goods. Okay. Well, I believe I'll leave it off there. That's an interesting start. I like a lot of the things they've done with the game. A lot of, of good options, for sure. Well, this is where the, uh, I see, on the left side is my, like, events panel. Very nice. And there's my, uh, faction effects. They, they always change things. They put things in different spots in every Total War game, and it screws me up. <sighs> in any event, um, yeah, I will save it there, and we will continue next time. Awesome.